Robert Earl, flipflopanier.com. Active Campaign has a great feature that is often overlooked or misunderstood. It is the Deals module that provides CRM and pipeline functionality. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the Deals module and Active Campaign and how the functionality can be used to take your internet marketing and customer relations to the next level. Now, if you're new to this channel, I invite you to drop anchor, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell so that you don't miss out on future episodes. So let's jump into the Deals module on Active Campaign. So here we are in the Deals module of Active Campaign, and Deals and Pipeline can really be used interchangeable here uh, because you have the opportunity to uh, track your deals underneath different pipelines or segments that go through. So if I wanted to create another pipeline, I could go ahead and do this. And um, I've been using the term free report. So let me just create a free report pipeline to see how uh, people uh, can track through it. So here I am within the particular pipeline, and the pipeline has different stages. If I wanted to add a stage to the pipeline, I could go ahead and do this and, and have the uh, information in here uh, called left voice mail, if it was something where I'm trying to uh, interact with them from the sales standpoint. So this is, um, if I went through the stages of it, I'm supposed to contact the person. I'm actually in contact with them, but I want to actually have the person move over here and say, okay, contact, I left the voicemail. I'm in contact with them. I've now done my follow-up. I might change this uh, from follow-up, and I'd be able to change any one of these uh, stages or steps that this is actually a prepare the quote. And when I save that, it will update the information. All right, so here you see the particular steps. I could also view them in a different way of having um, them sorted by the task. Okay, so the task that we're able to do with the particular deals are, are based upon the contacts. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a, a deal just so you see what goes on. Now, Let's go through the list or the, the sys steps of the setting up the system that I've been through. Let me go ahead and go through the steps that I use to set up the system. The first thing that I start with is the list. Uh, and I've got a video up above here that will uh, talk about how to actually uh, go through and set up your list system. Easy for me to say. Once you have the list set up, then you have to be able to get people into that list, and that's where you work with the forms. When the forms are populated, they're going to initiate an automation, and that automate be that you're adding someone onto a deal. So we go ahead and we now start to look at the uh, deals section of the system, and then we're going to move to the contact system. Uh, but the deal could be that somebody is requesting, in this particular case, a renovation to be done, or they want you to do some of the deal, uh, give it a potential value uh, within the system, uh, put it into a particular pipeline, put what stage it's going to go into. You could also do some forecast. You can also assign this. Now, and within the automations, there's also the opportunity to assign to a deal users within your system. And these users could be established or could be assigned based upon a round robin basis, or it could also be assigned as a particular value. So if you wanted your higher end clients to be handled by a particular uh, sales department uh, versus a, a lower end uh, inquiries, then you can divide up where those particular inquiries go into and what deals they go into. You have the ability at any time to filter out your deals. Um, so one of the things that you could look for is when were they created or when were they last updated. Also, you can look at what the next task is. Task can be assigned within automations as to your assigning uh, a checklist that would have your 
um, name of the individual so you could do a phone call so that you could send a manual email that was outside of the system you could also have the task be something uh, that you manually need to do like it could give a reminder to say you need to prepare this uh, quotation or this uh, um, consultation package for someone uh, if you needed to mail something out this would give a prompt to the particular uh, person it was assigned to uh, that they have to uh, take this uh, you can also look at them if you want to do some forecasting uh, based upon the win probability of the deal so you can do this via an automation step or you can actually go in and add a deal manually and I'm gonna go ahead and add a deal here and I'm gonna call this um, West End renovation if we're talking about this being like a a renovation type system and the potential deal value of this being five thousand dollars I put it in the particular pipeline and then I'm going to assign a uh, contact to this and as I go through the information it's going to look in my contact systems and be able to pull up a contact that I have on the the system here uh, so I could put some more information I could put some data here but now that I've gone ahead and added the deal then you'll show you'll see that it shows up here underneath the West End renovations and uh, in this particular case it happened to uh, duplicate um, I had put in some data beforehand uh, so I could uh, remove this but well, what I'm able to do is say that there are no tasks associated with this if I click on a particular deal state now it pulls up all of the information it pulls up what pipeline they're in it uh, tells me what particular stage they're in it also shows me are there any tasks that are able to go through here what uh, activities have occurred this would also show me not just the notes or the emails that I've personally sent but what has gone out from the automation system so a great opportunity uh, to check in on the details of it uh, I can go ahead over here in the actions I could delete the deal if I wanted to uh, and at any time I'm going to skip back over here I can click on the contact information and it'll pull out pull up the complete contact record not just the information associated with this deal we have another video that I'm going to link up above regarding the contacts and um, but right now we'll get a little glimpse of it that it shows that this uh, individual was added to a deal that they had subscribed to a list that the deal was updated it shows me any tags that have been included with this um, also the uh, list that goes into there uh, they don't happen to be in an automation but if they were in an automation I'd be able to see this information uh, right here and at any time if I click on uh, the data that's here it shows me that they're actually subscribed to the list so back over here in the deals section of it um, the contacts or the deal itself that has a contact associated with it uh, does work with a drag and drop so if I knew that I had to contact this individual and I called and actually left a voicemail I've moved them over to the next uh, level or the next step and I can do that at any step and of the way uh, to be able to move them from one level to the next again click on the uh, particular deal and it'll pull up the contact information it will let me know what stage they're in etc as far as details as well it could let me know all of the activities that have occurred so here's one of the most powerful things about the deals or the CRM session it's, it's very easy for a contact to come in to get put into an email list and to get the, the, you just totally forget about them with the deal section if you take the time and set up your form correctly so that it populates your automation your automation could have certain information that's included that adds them to a deal and the deal is actually one of the systems that I keep open I don't pay attention to the automations but on a daily or weekly basis I have the ability to go in look at the deal section and see where my, the individuals are now one of the things about the automation as well is that they can move from one step to another one step of the pipeline to the other based upon the tracking and the steps that have been taken by the contact on the site and I could do this through 
lead scoring. I can do this through uh, tracking. Did they visit a particular page? Did they take a particular action? Did they click the link for a particular report? If they did, then they can move. So if I get 100 inquiries in, I want to pay attention to the 10 or 15 people. Personally, I want to pay attention to the 10 or 15 people that actually took action and actually got the report. So if I'm trying to sell coaching, for example, this would then give me an opportunity to reach out. And instead of having to do a, shall we say, cold call to 100 individuals, I know that I'm reaching out to individuals that saw my video on a specific page or that they clicked the link and got a specific report. Now my follow-up is a little bit warmer. It can is something that I can reach out and say, hey, I saw that you got that particular report. Have you had an opportunity to review it yet? I also could, based upon that information, so let's go back to 100 people come in, 15 of them have actually taken the action and clicked. I can now send an email out and that email gives them an offer with an integration to a system like Calendly to set an appointment. Now I have the power based upon my deals and my pipeline to know which individuals I really need to be taking the time and talking with and which other ones that I really don't need to sit here and try to do things. They have self-qualified or self-disqualified themselves from the benefits of getting to work directly with myself or my sales staff. So that's one of the powerful things that is available that a lot of the other email systems, yes, there are, there are less expensive email systems that will allow you to put your name in there and to send them an email on a regular basis. But as far as getting a return on investment and increasing your amount of sales per customer, this system stands out above the rest. So there you have it, the deals and pipeline section of Active Campaign, uh, something that I use on a at least a weekly basis to be able to check in on a number of the installs that I have. So I want to thank you in advance for taking a moment to leave a comment, uh, for pressing the like button. Do appreciate it. Um, you can find out more about this topic other internet marketing and affiliate marketing and active campaign topics at flipflopaneer.com. Also available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Hope you enjoy. Look forward to catching up with you another time.